Before I performed for everybody, I just wanted to be, give a bit of context to what I do. I was fortunate to be born into a family inclined towards the arts. My great-grandfather was an Eastern music scholar, as well as a multi-instrumentalist. He played many instruments, including the violin, harmonium, sarangi. His daughter, my grandmother, was an Eastern music scholar as well as a stage performer. That's her dressed as a man. <laughs> Her brother is one of Pakistan's last remaining orators, and his wife was one of the country's leading Kathak dancers. <coughs> my parents were also musicians and saw my musical aptitude and love for music at an early age and had me classically trained in piano since the age of six. I'll show you a short clip of one of my pieces. As I grew older, I wanted to branch out and experiment and try different things. And this is when I felt extremely limited back home, because as it is, teachers were so difficult to come by. And those that were there only focused on either Eastern classical music or Western classical music. There was no middle ground and room to experiment. And there was nobody who could guide me to do all the wonderful things that I saw artists do on YouTube. So I thought I'll let the internet be my teacher. And I watched hundreds of videos online. I would close my eyes and listen to the audio over and over again, trying to decipher each note. Either that or I would pause clips at precise moments to examine particular finger positions. I'll show you one of the first things I learned on guitar at the age of 16 using this technique. <laughs> Thank you. So why stop there? Why not use all this instrumental knowledge that I'm learning to write my own musical compositions? Using the internet and all these various tools, I thought, why not write my own orchestra pieces? Something like this. Or why not use the internet to learn something a bit more obscure, like body percussion? Bear with me. Wow. Or, uh... <laughs> Or why not learn all those instruments that I wanted to learn, like maybe the mandolin or the harmonica? It doesn't need to stop there. It doesn't need to stop there. Why not combine all these things into a film I could direct? Uh, something like this.
<laughs> well, this way of gathering knowledge and exchanging ideas can lead to so many wonderful things, like getting selected to be the youngest TED Fellow and getting to speak and perform on the main stage at TED Global with a man whose videos I watched all the time on YouTube, Preston Reed. It was an incredible experience and an honor just to share the stage with him. It also led to getting selected to be a senior TED Fellow and going to the TED conferences in Vancouver just a few weeks ago. I was one of the people messing around with Janet's sculpture with the lights. <laughs> it was incredible. Um, and it also led to being here in Boston at Berkeley uh, with all you wonderful people. So I'm very grateful, and the internet opened so many doors, and I'd like to end with a composition I wrote for percussive guitar. And, you know, we have so much knowledge available to us at our fingertips. Can you imagine what we can achieve if we decide to use it? do now is I usually go and play the piano. So I'll play uh, another piece for you. This is a composition I wrote a year ago, and it's called Blue Moon Waltz. And can the volume be up, please? Thank you. <laughs> 